name is Frank Rosensen. I'm the Business Development Director for Resilience. One of the big challenges that we see is more and more extreme weather events. We see it all over. We see it in this year, we saw it last year, we see it in every part of the world. So there can be extreme rainfall, so torrential rain, can be heavy storms, can be hurricanes, can be long periods of drought, hot weather, and all these things make it for water authorities very, very difficult to manage their systems in the right way. As Arcadis, we have a long history in water management that goes back to 1888 when we were founded and then we start uh, converting wasteland into fertile and prosperous agricultural land. And since then we have been continuously innovating ourselves and providing better services to, to our clients, predominantly water authorities, not only in the Netherlands but globally, also in the US, in the UK. If you're looking at the future, we would like to continue in improving our our services, bringing more value to the clients. And that's where we started to connect with Hydronet. Hydronet is a tool, a platform that allows us to continue to provide better services to our clients, not only facing problems and situations like right now, but also more forward-looking. Hydronet is the state-of-the-art platform in integrated water management. The water systems are under pressure all over the world with these extreme weather events. And with Hydronet, we allow our, our water authorities to take the right decisions. They can manage the system in a better way. They can provide clarity and predictability to their communities. And they can put the right investments based on the insights that come out of Hydronet. If you look at other organizations like agriculture, it helps them to send the water to these areas where they have the biggest impact on, on food production, for instance. Not to waste water but to use these scarce water resources in the best way. Another category are the industries. So with Hydronet, we help them to reduce their risks and to anticipate on future events and take the right decisions there as well. And in the end, that helps to improve the quality of life of the communities where they're working in.